All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rechakudash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who taught us his truth. Shalom also to the Akim pushing his word in sincerity and in truth, and to the speckled bird across the four corners of the world, and to the few sisters who are listening to you, we say Shalom. Lord willing, this will be an edifying lesson. We are the brothers from the GMS Chicago camp on the brother Khadashia. And the brother Rapaya. We just wanted to go into this uh, quick lesson and Lord willing, it be edifying and straight to the point. You know, because in this flesh, especially de being in Babylon, eh, the scriptures say that uh, that oppression maketh the wise man mad. You see, and us being on the side, we had to endure many things, especially bridling our tongues, uh, especially uh, dealing with that, uh, uh, you know, being angry, man, because this place, it, it, it vexes you, keeps you low. It, you know, it's, you know, puts you in that spirit. You know, you, you're angry, man. And sometimes even though, Hey, sometimes we get angry and so on and so forth. Hey, we had to control that anger, man. Because right now is not the time for us to be avenging ourselves or doing any of those things, man. You see? But let me get the scripture real quick. This is uh, Romans 12 and 18. It says, if it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. So the scripture says, if it be possible, man, that doesn't, you know, so if it be possible, hey, live peace peaceably with all men. It says, dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. So we have to wait on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, ultimately to, hey, <laughs> uh, uh, avenge us, man. You see, we can't be avenging ourselves. Hey, this, the, the Lord told us that we had to give place unto wrath. When we get angry, we could do something that, hey, uh, we could, they, hey, that blame could very well fall on the ministry, man. You see, we have to be careful how we move out, move in this world, because the things that we do, it could really not only affect us, but the brotherhood around us, man. And there's very, a lot of brothers that you got to take into account, man. There's younger brothers. There's brothers that are 13 years old, man. Brothers that are way older, you know what I mean? They're in their 60s, 50s, you know, older brothers. Hey, the, hey uh, uh, we're fighting for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai first and foremost, man. We're being conformed into the image of his son. When Yahweh Shai was on the earth, he wasn't putting, uh, um, you know, he wasn't doing wild shit, man. Yahweh Shai, hey, he came on a mission. If he really wanted to, he said he could call on 12 legions of angels, man. But guess what? Hey, he knew what was written and he knew what had to happen. And hey, what, what, what he needed to do, man. You see, it says, uh, because what? It says, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. And guess what? He is going to repay, man. When Yahweh Shai comes back. You see, it says, therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou, for in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Damn. You see, man, when when you when you refrain from those 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 things, and, and really when you think about it, that that furious anger, that's of the world, man. Those are things that you have to let go. Jake always likes to say, "Yeah, when I was in the world, I was a hothead and." I'm, I was always a high head. Nah, man. In this truth, you got to be patient. Don't you know that us being teachers, being out there on the streets, we have to be patient, bro. What if uh, uh, somebody that's hard headed as fuck comes up? What are you going to do? Lose your patience? Start uh, uh, busting on their ass, man? Nah, you have to be patient with these people. Break down the scriptures, give place unto wrath. All right, you don't want to. All right, goodbye then. And we had to carry that uh that 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 attitude everywhere we go, man. Gotta give place unto wrath. And, and when we do these things, guess what? When we feed our enemies, guess what? We heap cold hot coals 
of fire on their head, man. The Lord is going to take care of those motherfuckers, man. The Lord is going to recompense these people for us in ways that we can't even fathom. See, when we think about uh, when we when we don't give place unto wrath and we go out of our way to do things in our anger. OK, for the time being, we do something, blah, blah. But what the Lord could do, man, the, the Lord could fuck these people in so many ways that you don't even you can't even think, man. You see, that's why we have to hey, ultimately hey, uh, 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 control our anger, man, especially on this side. You see? Absolutely. This is um, uh, Proverbs 16, verse 32. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. And he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh the city. And um, you, know, you got to put this flesh under subjection. You know, and it's, it's, it's always a, a challenge and a fight. You know. But you got to think of the scriptures like King David inquired of the Lord. We should always, you know, reference and think of the scriptures first. And, you know, actually pray to the Lord and inquire of the Lord as well. Then to make rash moves, you know, and get hyped up. You know what I'm saying? Kind that's why it says, and he that ruleth his spirit, then he that taketh the city. Mm -hmm. Hey, because guess what, man? If uh, if an angry, furious man takes a city, at the end of the day, the people are just gonna become just like him, man. That city is already destroyed. But guess what? When a wise man takes a city, hey, he's gonna build the people up. He's gonna do what has to. That only is gonna come from somebody that's gonna rule the people for their welfare, man. That I guess that's that's gonna come through Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. And guess what? We're being fitted into that image of Yahweh Shai, man. So we have to make sure that we apply these scriptures. You see, when we apply these scriptures, that's when you get the fullness of, of, of the understanding. Why the Lord said to do this. Why the Lord said to be slow of anger. Why the Lord said to have patience. Why he said to give place unto wrath, man. When we actually apply them, we see why the Lord said these things, man. And it's so heavy because you experience it in real time in that moment. Not all the time because sometimes you fuck up, you fall. The scriptures say a, a just man falls seven times. You fuck up sometimes and some fucked up shit happens. And guess what? The Lord, guess what? The beautiful thing about it, the Lord is dealing with us as sons. So he fucks us up right there and then, man. There's things that in this truth we're not supposed to be doing, man. And one of those is avenging ourselves, man. You see, you have to give place unto wrath. Right now is not the time for that, man. But this is a, a proverb or Sirach 16 and 4 it says, For by one that has understanding shall the city be replenished, but the kindred of the wicked shall speedily become desolate. And, and, and hey, who are the kindred of the wicked, man? That's Esau. What does Esau, Esau, how, what type of man is he, man? He's prideful. Hey, the scripture says he's going to come down with that great wrath, right? Mm -hmm. The type of man that Esau is, hey, he's poisoned this whole world. Now everybody's in a rush. Everybody's impatient. Everybody's prideful. Everybody's a piece of shit, man. Always angry, always furious, especially uh, in cities, man, like New York and Chicago and stuff like that. People, is, you see, they're always angry, man. Always, always, uh, hey, that's why there's so much judgment going on too, man. Because, hey, everybody's in a rush. Everybody has no patience. Everybody's fucking angry. Okay. It says, let me see. You got a scripture out? Oh, no, I'm looking for one. This, one second. Let me see if I find this one. The one is Sirach, I believe. It's in, uh, let me see. Oh, right here. I'm going to get this real quick. Um, Sirach 10 and 18. It says, Pride was not made for men, nor furious anger for them that are born of a woman. So, hey, that th those things... That they weren't created for us, man. 
A matter of fact, the scriptures say that the Lord is slow to anger. So if the Lord, if, if Yahweh the Father, man, Yahweh, if he's slow to anger, who are we to be quick to lose our cool, man? To, to start fucking furiously, angry, angrily doing something to avenge ourselves, man. That's, that's not what we're here for, man. And, and that shit is hard. You know how hard it is as a man to control your anger, man? Especially on this side. You see? Uh, man. It says, uh, let me see. You, you got a screw shot? Yeah, Proverbs 13 and 10. Only by pride mm -hmm. cometh contention. Yep. But with the well advised is wisdom. You know, it really comes down to pride. Yep. You know? And not using wisdom, you see? That's why we have to, to apply wisdom in, in every step, right? And that's why the scriptures even say to to, medi to meditate on this law day and night, you know? God, yeah. And not only that, we have to apply it as well, you know? We can't lose our cool, you know? And we got we to gotta do the best, to our, the best of our ability to fight this flesh, you know what I'm saying? And pray and even fast. That's right. You know, I got I got one real quick to back you up. It says uh, Psalms 34 and 14. It says, depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. So, hey, it all comes down to ultimately, hey, you got to start seeking peace, man. That all starts with what? Hey, hey, these scriptures, man. Like the brother said, you have to meditate on this law day and night. When, hey, that's you seeking peace, man. Through your how about Shimi Al Shai. When you when you actually get into these scriptures and, and, and get comforted through these through 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 these words, hey man, the Lord works within you, man. When you go through these certain situations and, and now you're at work or whatever you, you're doing, gym, whatever you're doing your social life outside of you know the camp and brotherhood, hey man, now you're gonna be able to uh, uh Fight those demons because, hey, guess what? Wisdom is going to meet you in every thought, man. But that is only going to come from what? You you had to seek peace and pursue it, man. You had to do good, seek peace, and pursue it. You see? That all comes with you actually applying these scriptures. Not only reading these scriptures, but applying them, man. You see? And, and like the brother just said, you had to meditate on them day and night. And when you do that, hey, guess what? The Lord is going to sup with you, man. Mm -hmm. No, so I'm looking for a scripture. Kind. Let me see. Uh... Let me get the one with the Lord. Slow, slow anger. This is, uh, you got one? Which one are you reading? Uh, Psalms 145 and uh, 8 It says The Lord is gracious And full of compassion Slow to anger And of great mercy So Hey The, the Lord hey, He's slow to anger man You see And, and, and Hey really <laughs> the, the fact that <laughs> The fact that we're in this situation You know Being punished We're in captivity And we have to go through All these things And so on and so forth Hey it, <laughs> You have to imagine What type of shit We had to do To piss the Lord off Like that man The scriptures say in Baruch That we provoke the Lord That's why we're in this situation man So when we go through these things And we have to Hey this is part of the battle man You see but guess what? It just like Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai, hey, like how the Lord is slow to anger, we have to be slow to anger too, man. Right. Yeah. This is James 1 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, perfect. Let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath, you know? And it's important to, to you know, think like a God, man. You know, these are just mortals. We can't, we can't, you know, lower ourselves to their level. You see, especially with these women. All right, the Lord's going to deal with them, man. Then you could read verse twenty-five. 
Yeah, this is verse 20. For the wrath of, of man worketh not the righteousness of the Most High. Damn, bro. That's, and, and that's heavy, man, because, hey, when we avenge ourselves and we think we're doing the correct thing, hey, we, <laughs> hey, you're going off, man. That doesn't work the righteousness of the Most High. Hey, when, when David was going to go slay Nabal, Right, he was gonna do it in, in, in a furious, angry manner, man. He was about to go slay him, but guess what? Abigail came, right? And guess what? And the Lord, the Lord basically let King David, uh, uh, held King David from committing iniquity, man, from committing a sin. He didn't let the blood fall into his hands, man. And guess what? The Lord still killed Nabal, man. You see. There's so many situations, hey man, where, hey, where, uh, hey man, you have to be, hey, hey that that wrath of man does is, does not work the righteousness of the Most High, man. You see, and, and, and we really have to uh, uh, make sure that we apply these, man. Apply these things. Let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath, man. And that's a cut to myself. Me too. You should feel cut when you read that, bro. Because yeah. sometimes I don't be so swift to hear. Sometimes I don't be slow to speak, man. Sometimes I don't be slow to wrath. You should feel cut by these things, man. Because mm -hmm. that shit, hey, this flesh has to get... Man, we have to cut this flesh off, man. This shit Come literally... On. These are literally chains of darkness, man. We're literally, uh, in these bodies, we're subject unto vanity, bro. If we're here for too long, hey, man, fuck, we're just going to succumb into this wickedness, bro. We need Yahweh Bashim Yashai to take us out these bodies, man. We have, we need Yahweh Bashim Yashai to fucking deliver, you know, to deliver us, man, Lord willing, Babakasha. Hey, but we have to, first and foremost, uh, uh, rehearse these righteous acts, man, practice them, man. Apply them, you see. Okay, so with that, Lord willing, this is an edifying lesson. We want to give out praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rachakadash. The wonders unto the apostles and the elders of the great Muslim, taught us truth. Shalom and Ababa Ba.